So when we work through this topic, we're going to come across dimensionless quantities as well. So one example of this would be the length of the arc of a sector. So the arc length formula in radians is theta times r. That's the length of the arc of a sector. Now, we know the arc length has got to be just a length, right? It's not an area, it's not a volume. And we're multiplying two things together here, theta and r. But we can't be multiplying two things that represent lengths, because otherwise, as I said, we would get an area. So r we know is a length. So that must mean that theta is actually a dimensionless quantity. So the angle in a sector, so if I was asking for uh, the dimensions of an angle in a sector, then, well, that's dimensionless. Now, do we know any other dimensionless quantities that we've worked with? Now, there's two in mechanics that come to mind. We've had the coefficient of friction, mu, that's a dimensionless quantity. And we've had the coefficient of restitution, E. That's also dimensionless. Okay? So you will come across dimensionless quantities when we're working through this section.